More than 62,000 people have signed an online petition asking the government to allow home-based business to operate during the Titan circuit breakup. Minister in charge of Muslim Affairs, Masako Kifli, says it is irresponsible to pressure the government to allow them to operate. As this might cause more people to get infected because of the high number of orders and this close to Hari Raya, Nisha Rahim explains. Every year during Ramadan, it's customary for Lin Siriga to bake cookies and cakes for her family and friends. This year, the 45-year-old switched to a home-based business to sell her baked goods. But she was shocked when she found out about the Titan circuit breaker measures. Operators like her were not allowed to deliver orders or ask customers to collect them to minimize human contact. Now, those who flout the rules face a $1,000 fine. We already spent over one thousand dollars for the ingredients and the packaging. Some the some of the ingredients like uh, butter, chocolate. We can't keep too long. So, um, in the end, this will be wastage and loss of um, our our money also. And Lynn was not the only one who was affected. Seri Rahim's home-based business plunged by 80% since the start of the pandemic. The 37-year-old said she understood the rationale behind the new regulations, but hoped that her business can continue to operate with some adjustments. I've actually uh, had a stool outside my unit so that uh, I would tell my um, pickup driver to pick up this item from the stool, this colour stool, and then just leave it at the door for the next party and stuff like that. So it's um, there's no contact at all. So I really wish like the government will allow us to still proceed with us baking and uh, doing this from home because it, I really need that. Minister in charge of Muslim Affairs, Masa Guzukifli, says he's sympathetic towards home-based business operators like Ms. Seri Rahim, but he's alarmed by those who are encouraging these operators to pressure the government to make exceptions, calling their actions irresponsible. More than 62,000 people have signed an online petition calling for the government to allow home-based food businesses to operate with restrictions rather than not allowing them to operate at all. Mr Masagos added that if the businesses continue to operate, they run the risk of getting infected or becoming a COVID-19 cluster, more so during this time when the orders pile up for Hari Raya. The Singapore Malay Chamber of Commerce and Industry said they are in talks with the authorities to come up with solutions for these businesses.